Hammond. It can't be right. It can't be right. Honorable, he said you did not. What is it? The parliament is, is a master of its own regulations and its own rules. It's nonsense. That's not the case. The Supreme Court is fucking. The Speaker is supposed to get the House in order to let us do what we are supposed to be doing. Why we are here? Why does he consistently keep like that? He's not acting on the Constitution, but what, what, he, what, what does he? What, you see, listen, listen. Be careful. Listen to what you are saying. If I, I don't expect the Speaker to be saying things like that. He's a seasoned lawyer. He can't be saying that. He doesn't act on the basis of the Constitution, but on the basis of the standing orders. What are the standing orders? The master of the. the but that's an entirely different matter. What's an entirely different matter? Supreme Court is simply asked that he should give an order to restore what the situation. Was. But you, are not Recall, you are not listening. We recall Parliament. The Speaker, when he sat, was supposed to do a first thing. And the first thing was supposed to be this. The decision, the ruling that I made on the particular day has been overset, has been stayed by the Supreme Court, which interprets the Constitution, interprets what we do over here. Accordingly, the status quo anti should be reverted to. So we would know that we are going back to this. Why should our, why should the M NDC guys rush to go and sit on the side of the uh, NDC? What is that? No. No, but that is not the point. But where were they sitting? Where were the NDC people sitting? No, you are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. Let's get the fact right. Where were the NDC guys sitting? Is that, is, that, is that where they're supposed to be sitting? That, uh, but you see, you know, we, have, we have a convention. We have a convention. It's not that give it no sense. You guys are not listening. Supreme Court is spoken. It is all for us, members of parliament on the majority side, to be arguing at any point. This is a matter. This is foreclosed. It is completely foreclosed. Supreme Court is spoken. That is the end of the matter. Why, 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 were, you not, why were you not at the business? That is not again, 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 if you said that, listen, 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 the others, the others, the others of the Supreme Court were directed specifically to the speaker. It was the speaker, it wasn't the leadership, it wasn't the clerk, it wasn't the leadership which made that uh, ruling or that decision. It was the speaker of parliament who unconstitutionally made the proclamation, whatever is it that he said the last time. The uh, Supreme Court is told him that he was wrong. Restore matters to what they were so before you the did that. Line of action for the MPP. Well, we will cite him for contempt. We will cite the speaker for contempt. Watch the space. I mean, but but he says there was no business before the business committee. The, the, the speaker says the business the business committee did not meet Let's get first to put business first and first. There is a ruling made by him. The ruling is been overset. You forcing me to repeat myself so many times. The Supreme Court is spoken. We want the decision of the Supreme Court to be respected. The Speaker acknowledged the, the ruling of the Supreme Court the last time he two weeks ago. He acknowledged. He, uh, yes, he admitted to the ruling of the Supreme Court. It is not a question of acknowledgement. It's a question of implementation of the decision of the Supreme Court. No MPs. Yes. None of them. You are again. You are not listening. Again, you are not listening. It is not for me. Have been not, coming to Parliament. None of them have come in. No, no, no. no. He may you, are not, you, are not, you, are not, you are not listening. You are not listening. I, I think I'm going to have to say this for the last time because it looks like some of you have become uh, impervious to uh, what is that. Listen to this. The Speaker made a ruling. It was unconstitutional. It was unlawful. By any account, it was illegal. The Supreme Court. Contrary to the assertion by he himself and the some members of the minority who keep proclaiming from high roofs and high heaven that the parliament is a master of its own rules and regulations, the Supreme Court is told Barbie yes. and parliament that you are not. There, are, there is an institution which is the master of the rules of parliament and that this is what the law is. That you cannot make the decision, the proclamation that you made. I call it proclamation because he says he's a king, he's whatever, you know, he's a lord unto himself. But you made a ruling. It is not right. Supreme Court is telling you it is all right. Go Honorable, back to that. The, the, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court did not... Honorable, just, just briefly, two things. <laughs> it will be the interest of Ghanaians for the speaker, for the speaker to respect 
to respect the ruling of the Supreme Court, come back to this side rather than continuously adjourning. You are he he has, is he disrespecting the no, ruling no, of no, the no, Supreme no, Court. Four MPs. You are not listening. You are, you are not. You are not listening. No. When Supreme. did any of the four MPs come in and they were they were? Do you know? Do, do you know where they were? Do, do you know where they because were? Because today the second deputy speaker's aide has you, you, been you in may, the chamber, but the second deputy speaker may, has not been in You may you may want to take some medication. Yes, it has no point shouting and shouting when you are ignorant of the matter. What it is is this: It's not for the four people to simply show up. The Supreme, uh, the speaker has made a ruling, barring them from coming to the, uh, the Parliament. Supreme Court is reversed. It is for the speaker to sit up there and tell the House that his decision has been reversed, okay. and so we well. How say, will it be reversed if you are not seated? You, you, say, you say you are going to sign the speaker for contempt. I mean, you are, you are going to. How will the speaker reverse his decision? Again, 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 I'm saying that you either want to take leave of your senses or you listen to what I am saying. If you are not prepared to listen to what I'm saying and just listen to your own voices, we are not going to get anywhere. Look at the policy of uh, cameras. Everyone is listening, but you don't seem to be listening and concentrating on what I'm saying. It is not a question of our presence in there or not. It is for the speaker. If it is only about 100 people who are coming to the room there, Minority and the majority will constitute the composition of the house in its entirety, which never comes in there, provided that we have enough to constitute the business of the to constitute the house and then start business of the house, we should do it. So even if we had 99, which is one third of what, what to form the quorum, it was for the speaker to make the announcement in the house that his ruling has been over, has been stayed, has been overset accordingly, minority back to where you were, majority back to where you have been. That is the simplest solution but, that we're do, talking do, do, about. You say you're going to start briefly. Yes. When are you doing this? Uh, watch the space. Watch the space. I mean, finally, yes. the speaker says yes. that the majority has failed to convene the business yes. meeting yes. yesterday you see, so that they can put the business you see, for this emergency. I keep, I keep, I keep saying that first is first. First, is first, first okay. is okay. for the speaker to to declare in that house, the same way as Cathedral, the same way he did. And accordingly, come back and sit where we sit. The business of the house. Honorable, just briefly gave that ruling he didn't direct where each side of the house should sit it is the ndc who've taken it upon themselves to sit yeah. at the majority at the majority he side and so if them. if he says he's acknowledged he, if he says he's he acknowledged them the to do ruling, that he, he says acknowledge the ruling in his head in his head just, just briefly, lastly on the on the petition which came to for the recall, the speaker in reading out the, the directive stressed stress strongly that it was the majority, the second majority whip. Don't push me. It was the second majority whip who, who, who petitioned Where's my car? Who petitioned him for for the for, for the parliament to be recalled. That suggests he's acknowledged you as the majority, hasn't he? Right, it does appear. Uh, the Honorable Katie Hammond. <laughs> no, no. Uh, just, 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 just that, just that last question. Just, just that, just that last question about the speaker acknowledging, speaker acknowledging. Constitutionally, it's about time he respected the ruling of the Supreme Court. Just that one question about him acknowledging that it was the majority whip who petitioned him. Right, and so the last of, of, of the Honorable KT Hammond, we got the indication, I mentioned again, that the NPP uh, will be addressing a news conference uh, just shortly. KT Hammond making his way, uh, Adansia Sokwa MP making his way out of, out of here. And so uh, quite interesting, uh, the morning up until this point, what we've witnessed and what has been a back and forth in the last few minutes between us journalists and the Honorable KT Hammond in relation to um, what has happened. He made his way into Parliament and just when 